setting up the hands to play the groove. So check it out. We have the right hand playing all the eighth notes. The left hand's gonna be playing numbers two and four or the back beat. And we're gonna set up two and four by leaving the, the left hand in this near about an inch above the center of the pad. And then we're gonna lift up on the hands to strike on two and four. So like so, and three, and four, and one, and two. And we're going to do the same thing we did in the last video, but instead of playing on the pad, we're going to set up our hands uh, between the hi-hat and the snare drum. So eight notes are on the hi-hat, two and four on the snare, like so. So we got one and two and three and two and one. And we are back with Jason, and we we've got we've got we've had a good conversation. Thank yeah, you for coming no, in. Thanks for it's great. You know. I love to have the Bay Area guys in. You know that I love punk as well as metal, and everybody has a great story to tell, and that's what we do here on the Vault. So we are going to get into you teaching children the art of drumming. From what I understand, that you're uh, kind of prominent at that, and a lot of people come to you for that. Talk about that. I'm, I'm fortunate, man. It's awesome. I mean, again, it, can, it came from like my love for music and being able to kind of share it and wanting to share it, and wanting to give people uh, give back. You know, did that come as you got older? You think? Well, the, when I was a kid, every time I'd hear something killer, I'd try to show somebody else to try to be like, "This is fucking awesome. Listen to how cool this is!" Right? So it's kind of the same thing with drums. I did it as a badge of honor, though. I did the same thing with metal, like in the early '80s. In high school, I'm a sophomore, and oh, ask Sousa who the new metal band is. Oh, yeah. check out Saxon, Strong Arm of the Law. You guys got to go get yeah, them. And that yeah, day, yeah. 10 guys went down and ran down and bought Saxon, Strong Arm of the Law. And, that, and I was always did like, yeah, when, when no one want to know about metal, just ask me. You know, I kind of did it as a I guess egotistical, probably, arrogant badge of honor, kind of. Well, I mean, I guess it's kind of self serving, but. I mean, you know, whatever, man. I, I you just, don't come I, off like that. Though. I like I like conveying information, and I think I'm I'm good at it. And um, so I developed the I taught myself how to teach the drums um, after the UK subs in '06. I started while I was burning myself and cooking um, in bullshit restaurants. I started buying DVDs, and because all of a sudden YouTube comes out, and then you realize, oh man, I'm not as good as I fucking thought I was I don't know shit about this instrument so you start just learning and you start teaching yourself and and uh and eventually taking online courses watching dvds and just immersing in it yourself in it um who were you watching dvds of when you were going to try and looking at this have, have... well first it was well actually because I, I, I uh, shortly after I got I got a job at starving musician and so I I watched um Take It to the Streets by Steve Jordan, who's just an ultimate groove drummer. You know, played, he's on like the Blues Brothers soundtrack. Uh -huh. Fucking awesome. He played a Saturday Night Live band. Uh, I was watching Thomas Lang, his DVD uh -huh. came out around that time, which he's just like Arnold Schwarzenegger of the drum set. He's a really nice guy. I've met him a couple times. 
just an ultimate badass, but like I was going from zero to 150. It was like, ah, how do I, I, what's all this stuff in the middle? I got to figure out some of this other stuff. So um, I would be teaching beginner drum lessons um, at a discounted rate to people as I was kind of like learning the ropes and buying the books and, and, and developing my style of teaching over time. And then eventually got a nice practice space and made it into a, 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 a teaching studio and, uh, and just kind of like built it up from there. And now I really have, I have a good, good idea of what the fuck I'm doing, sort of. <laughs> and, and a good curriculum. And Confidence I, and is I, key, my friend. I know, Confidence I know. is key. No, you you know, know when you don't know what you're doing. You gotta, you gotta, you're right. I yep. know what the fuck I'm yeah, doing. Exactly. No, I mean, it, is, it is. But drums, it, drums historically are kind of fake until you make it. All the drummers will but tell the you that. But the thing is, is your resume, tell you that. your resume holds so much water. You're right, you're right. You're right. That, and, and I think, to me... That that is the key to selling that. You're right. I mean, you could. It's like you wouldn't have played in all these killer right. bands if you were not the shit, and people would not be You're asking right. you to do that. But so, it's easy to look at, a, at, at <clears throat> some of these other players who are at the top that you weren't able to see before. When you because YouTube's all of a sudden there. Before that, it was everybody would have to flip through Modern Drummer. I don't know what that guy sounds like. How am I supposed to know what that guy sounds like? I don't have the money for the VHS. I don't have the money for their sure, album. Sure. And, and do I want to spend my sixteen dollars on that album or Slayer? Right. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I get you. Which yeah. makes actually YouTube is a great tool. The internet is a great tool for anybody who wants to learn anything. Or, sure. Because everything is right there. Everything you can think of true. is right there. And any player, I mean, uh, if you wanted to pull up a drum video, Terry Bozio. You Amazing. can find, oh, of course he is. Dude. I love that guy. Yeah. I know. I love him. I, I actually began, got to become friends with Terry. Awesome. Yes. And, and, I, and I was like, oh, mothers. He's in mothers. You know what I mean? It's like, come on. Yeah. You got to play with Frank Zappa. Know. As, you know, know, just that sort of thing. And guys like that. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, did Neil Perch drum videos. And, yep. You know, guys like that. It's like now you can just go online and you can watch a live concert and watch what he, look at his technique and stuff. So I think there's, for you, learning a, learning the instrument from like myself, you know, being a singer coming up, we had albums to learn off of. Now, kids today, you know, they have much better outlet if they for, really for want free. to. It's all right well, there. if they really want to, right, you're for yeah. free, sure. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that they're not, that's not, that can't be really taught. You kind of need a private instructor. Right, just technique, technique, definitely. Technique is is is, is oh, a I big agree. one, especially yeah. when when it comes to the drums. I mean, because you, you know, you got twenty digits, your arms and your legs, two and, feet, and, and, and their feet can dude. do different things by the way you I swivel know. them and move them. I know. And I, I'm not a drummer, but it's brutal. Being in a band, I've <laughs> learned and listened to drummers talk, and I, I were, these kids, how do they make their pedals? Faster, I know. and they're it's the way they swivel. They swivel. It's not like this. It's a or, it's a or it's, it's a the kick two, up two or, for one. It's, yeah. yeah, it's a kick up or a swivel thing yep. that they're doing, and I'm like, wow, that is totally interesting to me. From a vocalist, I wouldn't think about that. You know what I mean? And and so for the yep. normal person to look at that that type of thing. Yep. Yeah. Um, before we before we get into charger, if it, tell people where they can get you. Can they get you online? Can they get your um. Your, your drum lessons online, or is it only in the studio? And where are you at? Tell every... Yeah, you know, I, I do teach Skype lessons. Um, I also teach in person. I, I prefer in person over, over Skype. He's old school. I prefer in person, but, too. I, but I do teach um, um, Skype, and I've developed the skill over the pandemic. I can I could do FaceTime or, or, or whatever Zoom lesson over uh, online because, uh, yeah, we had to, right? So um, you follow me on Instagram at Jason dot willer or jason dash willer i think and then also facebook jason willer and um that's that's kind of that's where it. they get you and, and your studios where and uh in oakland in the north oakland area it's um uh, 43rd and telegraph around okay that. and how do they get a hold for that same thing and you can always email me in um, case to give everybody your yeah email. my email address is jason dot willer at gmail.com that's it and that's great. That's great because I mean, we, if you know, you're such a verse drummer, and especially heavy music. You know what I mean? It's Absolutely. Like, if if you're that kid that he was at 14, this is the guy to go get it if that's what you want to do. Because I think, to me, I I didn't start 
with lessons as a singer. I did them after the fact, but man, I'm glad I went to five years of learning how to do my band. And I, I, I think man. it's necessary. Totally. And if you want to one up somebody, because in this business, if you want to be successful, you better have something better than the last guy. I think lessons are, are very. Or just some secret sauce. Something that. Well, they, yeah, they, that, that, which comes through for lessons, it, you know? Yeah. And a, or a guy like yourself been, who knows how to put secret sauce on it. Exactly. You know? Well, especially, like I said, the technique stuff that a lot of people don't teach because it might not be as sexy as a mind melting, crazy ass drum fill, right? But something that's going to help you not get hurt help you sound better and help you stay in time, not speed up, not slow down, all of those things. Right. That's the, the discipline. Shit, that's the shit that I'm teaching and that's the shit that I'm obsessed with. It's more of like, it, it, it's the style of drumming that's more like mixing martial arts and dance in a way um, with sticks, <laughs> obviously. Right. Um, but that's, that's the stuff that is, because that's going to extend my playing another 20, 30 years, right? A lot of the guys that are just muscling everything out they're going to burn out. They're going to they're going to lose what they got, right? So you have to develop the technique to be able to um, to to be long, uh, to have a long career, you know. Now let me ask you, do you do a regiment before you go on tour because I'll say this, everybody knows in Exodus, I mean the songs are very brutal and Tom Hunting our drummer, dude he and he you were talking about some I don't think he's ever going to lose that pounding ability but his regiment mm -hmm. that Tom does before we go out on the road is Rocky 5 regiment cuz he lives in the mountains awesome and he chops wood wow. and he does all that up the hill shit wow. with his dog so he gets ready uh -huh. to do it that way. That's awesome. Do you do anything like that, Jason? Do I you... stay. I stay drummer, <coughs> drummer fit year you round. Do. I'm pri practice. No, I mean know. he's drummer fit year round. But I think for, he'd... for touring, maybe. right, right before you're about going out, do you need to get your stamina up at some point? Especially if you haven't done it, like you said, you hadn't gone out in a while. You know what I mean? But I'm drumming all day, every all day. day, and I'm running and and taking my dog out. You know, that, so you keep that. Miles, so you do six miles a day. I'm, I'm right with you. I'm a seven mile a day yeah, or two yeah, yeah, every day. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So I, I'm with you yeah. on that. And I feel that that's everything. It honestly. is honestly, and I've only it keeps the the mental state, oh, the man. depression, all the bullshit. That kind of and when I, you can get out there and, and it's, I agree. You know, it keeps us. And I only really bay. started this. The fans know in the last year, I you know this transformation that I made through myself, and that's a start of I go every single day and I seven awesome. miles every single day and it's awesome it's, and it's I have found now I can't wait to get on stage because I'm just going to be Dude. a goddamn machine can't wait that yeah. I'm kind of moving on and I'm, I'm getting older and, and that's also another thing I want to be able to play like Lemmy I want to be able to play it all the way to the end me too the last thing I want to do is oh his last gig was two weeks ago you know what I mean that's how I want to go want it to go yep. and uh uh, I feel the only way to do that is to, to keep the longevity is to stay. Exactly. Yeah, you got to keep, gotta, keep, uh, keep, keep, keep stabbing as we yep. get older, too. I know. And it started, you know, you know as you get in the 40s. Get, and things get weird. I know. I've, I've, been, I've heard. Hurt I've heard. I haven't had to figure. I haven't had too many problems Are you wearing yet. glasses yet? Well, I've had readers? contact since I was a kid. No, oh, okay, not reading glasses. Okay, no. see, that, that was the weirdest thing ever. All of a sudden, I'm 43, 44, 45, 45. I'm like this. <laughs> the fuck? One day. Yeah. One day I noticed yeah. it, and then it was downhill from there. Yeah. So unbelievable. So. Yep. Let's talk about Charger. Let's talk about Charger. Let's talk about Charger. Awesome. That's why I kind of, I go through the whole chronological thing, but man, we're all, all, of, all, of, the, all of the crew here, we cool. Charger. We good, like good. them. And I had Matt in, in on my show. I saw that. A couple of months ago. A great guy, you know. And, and, he is. And again, Amazing player, so this band is just I'm rocking. The luckiest, I'm the luckiest drummer that's ever lived, I think, to be able to play with that guy. And Drew, too. I mean, they're... Oh, I know. Dude. It's like, there's, awesome. there's, no, there's no weak link in that, in that bit of it, is it? Pretty, pretty stoked. Pretty, pretty strong. strong. And, and um, yeah, we just try to write good songs now. I mean, that's, that's the main Talk thing, about the beginning of it. Yeah, Talk so about the inception of it. I was it working at Starving it. Musician in Berkeley, little music shop, as, as the drum guy. It was my last day at the drum shop and I, it was like the last day last hour of the drum shop and Matt comes in with his son looking for drum lessons and so uh, I uh, I'm so glad he caught me 
because I didn't, I mean, maybe I had his number, but I don't know if he had mine or if he would have, like, thought to, to text me or whatever. Did he know you were there? He knew I was you. there. He would have, and he came in to see he you He came in then. to see me on the last day now of work. Now I'm flattered. Come last, on, right? Last day of work, right? And um, just luckily was there, and we were able to set up some drum lessons. So I started teaching his son, and um, during the time of teaching his kid, we start talking about music, and and I was like, man, I, I want to play music with you. You know, that'd be fantastic. He's like, well, what do you want to do? I'm like, I could do anything. Like, what do you want to do? I, I love music. I just I, I love it. Let, let's figure something out. He's like, I kind of want to do the thing that made us or made me excited about music when I was a kid, and that was Motorhead, Dio, um, Maiden, those were the bands, and Ozzy, that, those were the bands that made me want to do what I did going down into uh, the rabbit hole that he went down. You know, it, it, there was, those were the kickoff points, right? And same with me. I was, Maiden was like my first love. You know, I was like, that, that is fantastic. I would love to do that, and I could totally do that. I was an Iron Maiden cover I have band. Eddie tattooed right here, by the way. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I, w I was in an Iron Maiden cover band called Iron Vegan when I was 19 with Dave from Neurosis and, uh, and John from Weakling. Anyways, I, and I hung out. I sat on a plane with Dave Murray before. It was pretty hilarious. How cool is that? But so we got to talking and we decided we were going to just sit down. Oh, and Sabbath, obviously. We're going to sit down and just play some kind of motorheady, Sabbath-y kind of shit. I get that with the first record so far. Yep. It's very motorhead Sabbath-y, which is like, man... Two nerves that I just love. Yeah, bang, you know, bang. but also trying to do our own. We, you know, you you have a you have to have oh, a course, kickoff point, of course. And then it just your own kind of thing comes out of it too. We um we we sat down and we played and we just loved it. We had a great time and it was, I think I was the first kind of new guy he's played he had played with for a long time, and I was nervous because I'd been listening to him play bass since I was like eleven when I first started Operation Ivy or something, and and. And, and Rancid, too. I, I, um, I think the first time I met him was like at a Rancid show at the Fillmore in 95. 
Um, and yeah, man, it was like, it was awesome. We had a great, a great time and we played for about three months together before we uh, asked uh, his friend Drew to play, to play guitar. Yeah. So we just wanted to get the rhythm, the whole idea behind he and I was just to get that rhythm section tight, just airtight and um, just before we even started sprinkling the, the vocals or the, the, the guitar stuff on top of it. It's very, it's very powerful. It's very, Good. very powerful. And, and I like that total um, power angle to it. You know, we wanted like to come from the ground up. Rather than a lot of bands come from the top down and then you, you don't have a foundation, right? If we come from the ground up and, and really build that, the, 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 the bottom, you, uh, you're going to have that power, I think. What I think is cool is that you're both well-known punk musicians and then you kind of go back and do something this that's like the roots that's the, our right. first love like but, go back yeah, to the first but, love but, and flirt with it you know? but you got to remember that the mm -hmm. rancid fan you know or, or you know or, are not necessarily know that that's their roots you know well, what you I mean? can't Maybe. really undersell the rancid fan now from the well, rancid i'm not underselling fan. that i'm just saying that but you, you have know. to say like well because those people might have grown and been on a path and they might like a whole bunch of other things now too. So they might be arriving at Charger for after, you know, finding out about all these different styles of music, and 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 they might have a open mind and an open palate for and ready for whatever. We because are, what I think bringing, is cool you know? is that you guys have done punk music very successfully, and now you're doing something that's musically a little bit different. It's still um, heavy and very hard. Coming from myself, that my love was thrash metal and that sure. sort of thing and this is what I do and even the other projects that I did the Tenant Project Dublin Death Patrol and when I started Hatred with my kids I didn't move away I didn't derive from the formula all that much you know what I mean mm -hmm. it's what I am it's what's in my heart I would have loved I would still love <laughs> to be in a punk band you know what I mean to go out and yeah. actually play a three minute song and just sure. like you know, raw with a three chord rhythm. It's just really heavy and just go, I would love to do that. I don't know why I haven't done it to this day because I, I just, I, I, but I mean, it would be cool to do. I get it. I guess yeah. I need somebody to kick me in the ass and go, Zetra, come on, let's well, go do this. But thing. I've always been, since I was a kid, I was always that kind of explorer. I had to find new things and punk was about freedom until it wasn't. I had to take the blinders off and grow and do the prog thing. And then all of a sudden do the jello thing because the prog thing opened the doors to be able to make it so I could do the jello thing. And then going back from the jello thing to do to play whatever charger is with Matt. I don't know, man. I just I love being an adventurer and explorer and being open to new shit. And um, there's all sorts of avenues and ways to express yourself. And I'm just glad that I stumbled upon this one. So now you have just finished a new charger record. Is that what, what I understand? Brand new record, mixed and mastered. <coughs> I'm really proud of it. How many tracks? Eleven song. We recorded fourteen. Three of them didn't make it. Not that we're not going to throw. We're not going to throw anything away. But you know, we're eleven make a really nice. Uh, there's no redundancies. Uh -huh. The energy is just like peaks and valleys, but it's it's one solid piece with a good side break. You know, side A, side B. Anywhere we can, they can get a listen now, or will when? I will wish. When not, will it be real? Do we know when it will be released? Not, I have, we have no idea yet. Hopefully before the end of the year. If not, hopefully early next. Well, I know just to let people know that um, vinyl is behind now for printing vinyl. Everything is. That, so um, a lot of... <laughs> the cover, printing the cover everything, is. Too. Everything <laughs> yeah. is behind. Nobody yeah, worked yeah. last year. Yeah. So if you want to put a record out, I know because Exodus is putting out an album in November. Mm -hmm. and, and a lot of things that we wanted were delayed so they're doing that or like taking care of that yeah. right now and printing the vinyl was one of them they're six months behind on printing the vinyl so just be patient what good news is is that it's in the can and done right yeah and the artwork is phenomenal my, my buddy from grade school we all used to uh this guy alex nice he works on film he's kind of made it in film and and and, and television i think he's worked on he's working on the snow piercer uh, television show. He's designed the train. I've watched a couple of those. Uh, I haven't seen episodes. it. Yet. It's very. It's this, it's this long train. Yeah. That all these people mm -hmm. live on. I've seen the movie. And and by 
where you are on the train is your status on that yep, thing. And yep. it's pretty... Like a cast. It's, it's totally, and it's very... It's it, every, They have their own little subcultures on there and yep. their own little cliques, and it's yep. pretty it's pretty wild. Yep. So I, mean, it's, I think it's on TNT or one of those things. Mm-hmm. And, and it's a, I think he was helping with that, I'm pretty sure. And uh-huh. he's done a lot of cool stuff. Um, and he was one of those guys that all of us kind of stoner kids and weirdos would go up to at lunchtime and make him try, draw skulls on us because he was really good at drawing fucking skulls. And now he's a successful graphic course, designer. He and um, he was willing to do uh, the art for us. And I'm fucking stoked because he How cool is it that, just huh? looks great, man. And he's, it, yeah, we're so lucky to, ha- to have that guy on our side. It's killer. That is so, just yeah. awesome. So, um, yeah. Any live stuff for Charger? You mean shows? Yes. Um, I don't know if it's been announced, so I have to be kind of careful about well, what I say. Don't get in trouble. Okay. We might have one coming up before the end of the year. <laughs> okay. Can, can I demographically, <laughs> will it be the Bay Area? Yes. Okay. See, so that, I've, I've at least got, I've at least got, there might be a Charger show before the end of the year, which is probably means there is going to be, and it's going to be in the Bay Area. So the rest of the world, you're kind of fucked in the rest of the nation. It's kind of how it goes, but uh, we, we, might, not, we, might we don't want to get them in trouble. There might be some in the Southern California region. Too. Okay. So, see, so can't, now, can't now we're expanding on it. <laughs> the, 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 the embellishment is being expanded on. So we're going to keep that in mind. But no promises, people. No. Even the Bay Area. Remember, yeah. it was a might before the end of I, the year. I got to play it. And play we're it only safe. in fucking July, so we have a full, <laughs> full thing to go well, through. Well, you look at what's going on with these fucking variants and whatnot. And that's state's not too bad. The states aren't too bad. It's just if you're going to try to go to Europe, it's a Yeah, but they're funny. getting a bit weird around here again, too. Like, with, uh, I just uh, I don't want to be behind a mask again. I don't want to be teaching to a phone anymore, man. I want to teach in happen, person. Man. That ain't gonna happen. Thank you. We're not gonna go back to that. Thank we're you. Gonna go be, everybody's. Every, we're back. We're back. Good. We're back. It's just the way. Glad it is. to hear it, man. We're back the way it's. Well, hey, man. Thank, thank you. you so much for having you have, coming in. Awesome, to the buddy. Vault. Awesome. I, I, I can have you back again. Anytime, my yeah, friend. Yeah, great. We'll, thank we'll you for you. having me. That was yeah, fun. Yeah. So, um, you guys, I know what you need to do is leave me your comments. Let me know. Let me know what you think about his projects, all the stuff that he's done. Because again, we read all this stuff. If you haven't heard Charger, go check out Charger. It's really heavy. I mean, we have the, everybody on this show, we have just fell in love with it. I've got some very close friends that have, I've told you earlier, that love Charger. That's right. And then it's really cool. And um, again, if you have, haven't subscribed to my show, please hit the subscribe button. I keep saying this, and I, we haven't been moving the numbers up lately. We're this close to 10,000. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers, and I want to hit that number real soon, and it would only be thanks to you. we got some other great interviews coming up, but this has been a lot of fun, brother. Thanks, man. Thanks for Thank having me. Thank you for coming Seriously. in. This has been so much fun. Awesome. You guys know how we do this, and we will see you very soon in Zetro's Toxic Vault. See you later. Thank you.